Even when people agree that a medication works, they worry that it could have unforeseen consequences or future side effects. So is that a logical concern or maybe a logical fallacy? But the big lingering question about GLP-1s, what do we know about the long-term effects of it? So I think that's a concern that we don't have 100 years of data. So with Ozempic specifically, the first human trials were in 2009, and the FDA only approved Ozempic for the treatment of type 2 diabetes in 2017. There was not a lot of controversy about, hey, it hasn't been tested enough. Apparently, people were pretty comfortable with eight years of human testing for a diabetes drug. But four years later, when Ozempic was approved as a treatment for obesity, people started asking, hey, is 11 years of testing long enough? There tends to be this pattern where we can't know until we know. I mean, it was true for x-rays, vaccines, tobacco. Uh, my plastic Tupperware was safe until last year. Now it's totally toxic. The point is, the goalposts keep moving depending on who knows what. For some people, a decade of testing, that's sufficient to determine long-term safety. For other people, well, <laughs> The polio vaccine was invented by Jonas Salk 70 years ago, and they're still skeptical. When it comes to a brand new longevity drug that allows humans to live another 100, 200, 500 years, we can be certain that someone is going to protest like, yeah, but hey, how do we know it's safe? Has it been tested for 500 years to see what the long-term effects are?